So, you know, there's a couple different versions of Tom Brady's. This is the uh, upper deck. This is the big boy. This is your uh, contenders, rookie tickets. This is the one that everybody's always wanting. So we've sold a few of these through the past, but this is a pretty desirable card. Here's PSA 10, Black Diamond. This is not a numbered variation, but it's very affordable. It's something that a lot of people can buy. Something that a lot of people like is this red mirror, because the red on red, the PSA 10 is a very low pop, very sought after card here. It's a Leaf product. So Brady's have been climbing since I've been buying them. Uh, but during the COVID, as most people know who collect cards, cards just started skyrocketing during COVID and really haven't slowed up. So for uh, about three years now, cards have been really climbing the window pretty good. Uh, but the last uh, two years has just been really crazy on the evaluation of cards and how fast a, a really good player and a, a short print card can go up in value. So as far as the value of the collection, you know, I, I guess it's what somebody's willing to pay, but it's it's definitely over a million. Brady's not the most difficult move. It's only going up, and hopefully he does well in the playoffs this year and keep driving up those prices. Think about this, a bomb in the NFL. How many times does a bomb in the NFL, nothing happen? Mike and I met at the TriStar Card Show, started chit-chatting kind of throughout the day. He ended up buying, you know, the Babe Ruth piece off me. So when I met Ricky Libby at the TriStar Show, this is the piece that I purchased from him. He just got this piece and acquired it. We did a big trade and a big purchase, and it was a dual Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb auto. It's from a charity event that they did for the war. Me and a couple of my best friends, uh, one friend from high school I played football with and the other two are my actual partners in real estate. Re real estate's my main business. I uh, decided to take a uh, man's trip to Cleveland. We were going to go to the Hall of Fame, uh, Football Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland and we found out that there was the sports card convention. And it ended up being what's called the Nationals Card Show. and. I came home and started getting packages and packages and my wife was like, how many more packages are coming? And you know, I went a little crazy buying autographs of different players and different athletes I've liked my whole life, boxing gloves and helmets and you name it. And at that point, she's like, what are you gonna do with all this stuff? And that's when I got the idea to open up a sports card shop and kind of a man cave and put all my stuff in there, my collection. So uh, what was that, uh, just over three years ago, and we've been, I've been going crazy on it ever since, meeting a lot of great people and enjoying the hobby. At the end of the day, I think when you come into our card shop, you're gonna get taken care of the way that, you know, I or, or Mike would want to be taken care of. But we have seven TVs in here. We have the kids trading station, which is not offered by a lot of people. Um, we have gaming systems for the kids, hot shot, you know, basketball game for the kids. And then you go upstairs, you get a different feel, right? It's, okay, yeah, so upstairs, this is our deal or no deal. Um, as you can see, we have a wide variety of all types of different things. And what we mean by deal or no deal is nothing is priced. Okay, so you come up here, this is gonna be more of the nostalgia area. You're gonna have everything from like the 60s all the way to like the 90s. And it's gonna be sets of baseball cards, basketball and football. We're gonna have boxes that are not open. So any of your old wax packs and, and all that type of stuff, we have that up here. And then on top of that, all your figurines. So any starting lineup that you can think of for the most part, uh, that's the type of stuff that we cover up here and people love it. They eat it up all the time and, and come up here and it's a treasure hunt. So what you guys see right here is probably what a lot of people have at home or what you know I had when I was growing up. This is gonna be predominantly the sets from the 70s, the 80s and the 90s. And it's really good for the people that are trying to set build. I, I would recommend if you're missing maybe some key cards or maybe some random cards, come up here and take a look. Now it's gonna take you a while, but you're gonna be able to find what, what you're looking for. And we love to carry stuff like this because you never know what you're gonna get. And if you are missing out on something, we, we have your back here at Texas Sports Cards. Yeah, so our card shop is very uh, relaxed atmosphere. Um, it's here in Argyle at a business park that me and my buddies own. We do a lot of really high-end stuff, but we also do a lot of free stuff for the kids, a lot of giveaways for the kids, and run different uh, 
events um, to help out the youth of the hobby of giving away and donations and giving away raffle fundraiser type stuff uh, for our community. Uh, Texas Sports Car is going to be doing a promotion here throughout the holidays. From this point on, if you spend $25, you're going to get a raffle ticket. Or if you bring a toy in, we're going to donate to Cook's Children's, you'll get a raffle ticket. Some lucky winner is going to get this Dak Prescott jersey to have in their game room or at their home. Being a part of the community is very important to us. You know, we like to be a big contributor to the community. Please come see us here in Argyle, Texas for any of your sports cards needs. Also keep in mind, we're always looking for large investment pieces. We're willing to buy large lots, expensive cards. If you hit that one-on-one, -on -one, please give us a call. We're ready to buy, cash ready. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go on at this first Atlanta